Alright guys, you already know what it is. We're gonna go over the Siege Clan Fortress, but first I wanted to point this out. Hey look, they gave me a $5 coupon as long as I spend at least $40. <laughs> right? Let's log into this real quick. But, uh, so I'm gonna give my first impressions on this new update thing that we're gonna be going over here. My first initial thoughts and, and everything. I haven't looked at anything, I haven't read anything, I haven't watched any other videos. So this will be my first reactions. You guys can see my face. Uh, well, you can't see my face, but you guys will see my react. No, never mind. Never mind. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, we've been wanting this for quite some time. But in light of everything that's been going on, I'm rather ambivalent about how they're going to implement it. Because as we all know, PvP and Raid means Krakens versus Krakens and everybody else is kind of just fucked. Well, hold on. Let me stop them right there because they did say that Centranos was going to be bigger than Doom Tower. So this better be really good because... He just said it's like, what, the biggest revamp since Raid's launch? Is that what he said? Looking good. Looking good. Hey, hold up. Check that out. There's my boy Rotos right there. I hate seeing this in one time speed because I'm so used to seeing it in two times speed. I'm going to stop this guy right here because I'm already overwhelmed. I'm not much of a strategizer. I'm not much of a thinker. And that, that was just a lot to intake. So let me, let me digest this a little bit here. So he says that in the clan versus clan during in, in Siege, what's going to happen is we have to defend these sections of the Citadel. I'm thinking from what it looks like is... Somebody in, in your clan is going to have to strategize and tactfully have you, one of your one of as as a guild member of the clan, be placed somewhere. So for example, if I was a clan leader, I might have to say, like, oh, uh, you know what? Uh you you go over here, you're gonna place your champions in defense tower two. You you go over here, defense tower one. Oh crap, we're losing defense tower three. I need two of you guys to go over to post. 14 post 15 and magic tower 3 so that we can reclaim defense tower 3 I, i'm assuming that's something that's that's along the lines of what's going to happen and the stronghold here seems like the main uh type of uh the, or the main bastion that we have to uh defend do you guys know any games that are already like this because i i can't think of any games that are like this but i haven't really played that many other games gotcha games that are uh except for raid Hmm. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I should have just listened to this guy explain things. I'll shut up now. Hold up, let me see this. What is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Too fast, let me see this. What is this? Garrison? So we have upgrade tabs, garrison tabs, the defense reports... Time left to set defense teams, 
clan victory reward for buildings protected. 75 of these, 1250 of those, 30 of those, personal victory. So there's rewards that you're going to get as a clan, and then there's personal victory rewards as well, and victory points, group one, group two. Upgrade. Oh, you can donate Florins now to upgrade the stronghold. So a team effort, a team effort to get this up. So they're planning, they're pumping a lot into this. They are, they are expecting and planning that this is going to go big. They're going to make a big push for this. I can already see the ads because they're already planning to develop a new area attached to Siege. No, you know what? You know what this reminds me of? Um, there was a game that came out maybe last year, Clash of Dragons or something like that, and it had a, a clan system, or not like a stronghold system, where you had to focus on building like your different um, assets in your city, but the only way to make sure that everything was upgraded upgraded was to make sure that your main building, your stronghold, or the equivalent thereof was upgraded um sequentially so like if i wanted to upgrade this defense tower to level three my stronghold had to be at least level three or four i think clash of clans was also like that no Yeah, it makes sense.
I'm going to stop this guy right here because I, I lost him about two minutes ago. I just wasn't paying attention. There is so much going on here. So I think I get the gist, though. There's these different towers. You got the shrine. The stronghold is going to be the main thing you want to upgrade. These mana shrines and magic, all these other things, you're going to want to focus on giving good teams to, as well as picking the proper bonuses that is going to benefit you and the team as best as possible. I don't know if he talked about it, but is it is this something cumulatively or individually? Like, can we all use our own Florence and say like, oh, I, I don't know. Like, I'll give 500 if somebody else gives 500. You know what I mean? Makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like there's going to be a, like I said in the beginning, a lot of planning. I don't even know if one person could do all this kind of planning. You'd have to be a, a, a I don't know, like a mad genius or something to be able to sit there and strategize and coordinate and move all these moving pieces. I think you're going to need a team. Like the clan, clan is just going to have to work together, and, but I don't think everybody can do it. I think maybe having three heads, tops, four, trying to look at everything and plan. Okay. This looks pretty cool. I guess this is what it's going to look like we're in, when we're inside fighting, I don't know, the, the opposite team. So that looks pretty cool. What's this over here? Wow. Okay. So uh, let's see what people say. I'll sort by... Who is this even for? <laughs> Who is this for? How complicated is this? Oh, copied from Clash of Clans, which was fun and easy. Not a giant poker, giant poker machine. After three years of playing, the only time game works for me is on Wi-Fi, which is closest... Which, which the closest is 45 minutes away. Okay, I missed playing the game. Scale of 1 to 10, wanting PvP for me, 0. Clan boss is okay, Hydra's a pain, now this is too much. I already cancelled my job, I'm ready for this. This will be a game within a game. I feel like we're going to need more than 30 clan members. I'm not going to have time to play this, I have a life to live. That's true. Like, everything that needs to get done in raid, like, if you just want to do your daily... So here's the thing, like, you do your daily, so you could probably knock this out in, like, 5 minutes, honestly. And like arena battles, you could just go in and and leave. You, you know what I mean? You don't have to sit here and watch the entire fight if you're just trying to bang out the missions. Right? 
So you could just sit here and be like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do this fight. I'm just going to take the L. Uh, I'm going to go back and kill him later. But yeah, doing this daily doesn't take too long. Your advanced quests are going to take a little bit more time. So what? Call that, I don't know, maybe another hour or something like that. But there's just so much to do in Raid. You have to at least stay here for, for two hours to get this bonus if you want it. Two and a half hours if you want to get these tokens. Like, it just goes on further and further. Then you want to factor in, you know, clan boss is not much anymore. Because there's insta battles, faction wars. This, you depending on your team, it could still, still take some time. Like, it, I do stage 21. It still takes me 34 seconds to do that. That's that two, two times is a minute. Uh, Hydra, if you let it hit, if you if you let this run all the way to to the end, it's at least 45, 50 minutes on full auto. Then you want to use all of your silver keys. So then that's another, you know, however long that takes. Cursed City of Centranos is another thing. Like there is just so much going on in raids. So you really have to consider, you know, uh, if you're going to have time. And that's a big thing for a lot of people because this takes up a lot of time. And then if you're like me, who has multiple accounts, always has multiple accounts, always played on multiple accounts, some people worse than I, then you're on this game 24-7. As of late, I'm not really on this game 24-7. It's very passive for me. I've been missing dailies. I've been missing clan boss fights. I've kind of just been chilling in the cut, playing Elden Ring and working on my other channels. Uh, never heard anyone request this before. Increase energy. Here's an update. No potion keeps. Doom Tower resets when you clear it. Waiting two plus weeks for the reset is ridiculous. Super Mario or Super Raid Minnow. Just bite the bullet. Give players the break they need. Uh, Tag Team Arena. Just drop it as 99% hate it. Eh. Hydra should not be an advanced quest. That's true. Normal Amius should drop one and a, or half the amount of remnants. That's true. Not some shitty chest and useless candles. True. Getting Carnage a little earlier will not break the game or your bottom line, uh, bottom line income wise. That's true. Maybe the players will invest in your content. No rewards for this. F that. There is a reward though. Uh, Emma, what's her name? Emma, oh, I forgot her name already. Authoritarix. Yeah. It's a cache, dude. Oh, it's a cache. He's saying it's a cache. Yeah, he said cache. So I was thinking about what he said because it stood out to me the way that he said it. It's a cache, dude. Cache means something else entirely. Priest Guardian. Looks like Raid just became my official game on PC. Raid or Die in a, uh, is our clan and we plan to win. True. I'm in a... What is this? What is this? What is this guy? This guy's just spamming... Well, this guy's like on here, just going back and forth with Polarium. I took the time to read all my comments. It's a big neg dumpster fire. Most don't want this crap because most of the other areas you've neglected. Blah, blah, blah. Read the comments. Start changing your blah, 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 blah. I warned you. Blah, blah, blah. More players will quit because you blah, blah, blah. The rich. Uh, another free. So, oh, crap. Just another strikeout. Oh, whiny raid is removing my comments and... Oh, I guess they're deleting his comments. That's why he's going ham in it. Whiny Raid is removing my comments, violating my First Amendment because they don't like what I said. Just I didn't even know you could remove comments. Just proves me right. Everyone's read my comments. Dumpster fire. All the comments are neg. Blah, blah, blah. Contacted over 50 players. See my posts commenting on you deleting them. Raid YouTube, you're pushing... Yeah, so this guy's going ham in it. Too long, didn't read... It's just more grind to waste your time and energy and help sell more energy refills. Is this going to cost energy for us? So much negativity. Let's look Let's look at it before we dismiss it. Yeah, so my, my big take from this is if you're in a clan that is highly competitive and is able to, you know, function this way at this kind of level and you have members of your clan who are able to strategize and tactfully, you know, plan everything out, then I think you're in a good position to get the rewards, especially the champion, uh, Lumasa. I'm excited for it in the sense that it's something new, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up too high for it because you guys already know 
we're likely to be disappointed, especially because this is going to be a PvP type setup. So, yeah. Pick and choose what you're going to do. You don't have to do everything. Just the game. Be happy. Happy 4th.